Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at uh, the latest build of Windows 10 for Insiders. This is a fast ring build that was released today, August 31st, 2016. And uh, it's build 14915. You could see it here at the bottom right. Evaluation copy build 14915 uh, for Redstone 2. It is uh, the third build for Windows uh, Redstone that we are receiving in the fast ring. Now a word to those that are looking at this video to see new features. You can stop watching if you don't, uh, if you just want to see new features because once again there's nothing new in here except one little thing that I'll have to explain uh, because there was a change in this build that's important especially if you don't want to have your internet connection hogged. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, so, of course, we haven't had a um, new build for a, about a week and a half now, which was kind of long, considering that they usually come much faster than this. So, uh, around 1 p.m. today, August 31st, uh, Eastern Time, there was a release of this new build. And um, the download and install went very well. No issues, no problems at all. And uh, the install didn't crash, didn't have anything special. So that's the good thing. It works fine. It seems to work quite good. Of course, we'll talk about the improvements and fixes and also what's wrong in this build because there are some things that are wrong. So um, once you've uh, upgraded, of course, you'll see that you'll be on 14.915 on the bottom right. And uh, this is for fast ring, so it's very important if you're in the slow ring. There's still nothing uh, released for slow ring right now, except cumulative updates, by the way. Now, one of the changes that they bring to this build that is important to know, it's something that exists in since version 15.11 of Windows 10, but it wasn't used in the Insider previews but now they're kind of want, making it work so one word of caution if your internet connection is limited in some way uh, go to your update and settings once you're here go into the advanced options under update settings there's something called choose how updates are delivered click here and check this is very important because uh, this option is an option where you can have a surprise of a lot of gigabytes used on your internet connection. It's a kind of a peer-to-peer -peer like transfer. What happens is Microsoft is trying to lower the amount of data that it uh, sends over the internet. So it actually is using our computers as machines that can connect peer-to-peer -to, -peer to transfer the bits of the latest builds. So if you are on in the Insider Preview and you don't want to have a surprise of too many gigabytes, uh, turn this option off. Mine is on because it is for PCs on my local network, so it means that only my computers inside my home can share these bits. But by default, it is on and it is on PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. That means your computer is sharing data with other computers on the internet to um, increase the speed at which the insider previews are sent. So make sure that you turn this off. Uh, that's the only thing that I have to say about this build because um, apparently it's on by default and it is starting to work now. And this is, as they say, to improve the reliability of uh, you know receiving builds and so on uh, by, of course, using all the connections uh, around the internet to make things a little faster. Uh, what's new here? Nothing at all. Like I said, there's really, really no uh, new stuff in here. Uh, basically, same old operating system of Windows 10. Now, you might ask, well, you know, why are they sending these bills if there's nothing new? It's very simple. They want us to test it. Um, because what they're doing is fixing the core of Windows 10 in these um, insider previews. So they're kind of updating the core so that the core will be ready for new features coming in the next few weeks. 
uh, on our machines. What's fixed in here? Well, remember last time, one of the major issues that I told everybody about because I thought it was important, the famous start button with the power menu uh, would crash the start menu. This is fixed, so now when you click the power, you got sleep, shut down, and restart. It's back. So that's one of the most important issues. Fixed Cortana uh, causing uh, the text to speech capabilities that did not work, so this is back. Uh, fixed issues with settings app that would crash on certain editions. And I actually have one crash at some point while playing in the settings here. Uh, so that is fixed because it was just um, a missing DLL file uh, that they actually uh, put back. Um, there's a number of improvements to translations including fixing an issue where Windows Update where it would say your phone is up to date or your PC is up to date in French when confirming that your PC was up to date. The uh, changing functionality via settings, update security, Windows Insider program uh, such as your ring settings should now work again uh, in the last version. We could not go and change the settings if you wanted to move from fast to slow build for example that was not working. Fixed compatibility issues from a recent platform change that causes uh, apps such as Yahoo Mail, Trivia Crack, Google and Skype Translator preview app to work. They fixed a few things in Microsoft uh, Edge browser that um, created a few little things while going on the internet. So uh, this is of course fixed now, uh, hopefully for the good. Um, there's um, an updated, they have updated the connect flyout so that uh, the clickable area for each device listed now spans across the full width of the flyout. Fixed issue uh, for the Chinese input method editor. Uh, fix an issue where certain websites in Microsoft Edge, like I said, using control A to select all text and then copying it and trying to paste it into Notepad wouldn't paste anything. Fixed issues where importing favorites into Edge had a problem. So now it works. Um, and it actually had a problem from Internet Explorer. It would fail if the uh, favorites had been redirected to another folder. Now, uh, as with every build, there are a few known issues here. Adobe Acrobat Reader crashes when you try to launch it. This has been from the start and it's normal. It's in the way that the core has been designed right now. It's going to come back eventually soon. Um, you may experience a black screen when signing out and switching to another user account. So if that happens and you're unable to log into that account, uh, a reboot of the PC will uh, enable you to log in. So if you want to switch accounts uh, by going, for example, in the start and um, the power and you say that um, you want to not necessarily here let's just go to the user account and you want to sign out or change account um, that could result in a black screen all you have to do is restart your computer and it's gonna work and the settings app may crash when going to settings let's try it out just for the fun settings and personalization and it depends probably on some machines so here if I go here let's try it out in my case it works right now but it could crash if you try to change things here apparently so that's pretty much what I have to say it's uh, it seems like a stable build it's been working on my computer for the last uh, two and a half hours quite solidly I've been using it as my main computer because I always do that to try and get all of uh, the feel of it. It seems crisp, it seems fast, works well. Uh, it's a good build, so um, if you're not sure or if you want to move on, um, it seems to be pretty stable and I wouldn't be surprised that this build would classify and uh, be uh, eligible for a uh, slowing insider in the next uh, days or, uh, or weeks. So um, once again, another build of Windows 10 for Redstone. No new uh, stuff happening in here. Still working on the core, but a uh, good build in general. So uh, if you want to try it out, all you have to do is be an insider. Remember that being an insider is not something that you should do on your main computer. It should be on a specific computer. 
and um, that you know will just have that so that it doesn't uh, because you know this is unfinished software it could be buggy it could cause problems uh, you should be somebody that is um, you know a, a tech enthusiast that just knows enough to reinstall Windows if something goes wrong because reinstalls of Windows 10 in the insider builds is something that uh, might happen and you might need to do so um, you know I had to do it three times since the beginning of the uh, insider preview builds and um, of course you have to be in the fast ring for the latest builds or you can be in the slowing for builds that are a little more uh, solid and have less problems in general if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and this quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 14915 for August 31st 2016 uh, if you are an insider and have this build, have anything that goes wrong, anything you want to share with me, uh, please do so. It's always fun to have news of insiders out there and hopefully things are going to work well for your build also.